going to do a quick video on how to read report codes and a bit of live data in Vida. I've currently got my engine running to save on battery power. Some operations you have to have your engine off. Ignition position 2, which on P3 platform is a long press the button and SPA cars, it's a long turn to the right. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and click on vehicle profile. Select our dice unit. Most people use Chinese clone or 206751. And you're going to go ahead and re hit read vehicle. Once it's read the VIN number and decide, decoded what it can, you're going to hit steering. Probably start if we've got anything that has some roof option with mine. Now we're going to go straight over to diagnostics to pull in the full coat. It's going to the first time it's seen the car so it's going to want to update its history if it's the first time it's seen the car you don't get this option it just does it automatically already we can see here we've got a orange triangle on network and fault trace which means it has found faults on the network uh, and in the modules already the network fault on this is actually because uh, I've got a TFT dashboard fitted instead of the original analog clocks, so that's to be expected. I'll just show that now. Network is really handy. If you go to network and something important like TCM is orange and offline, that's really significant. If it's just uh, something you already know about, fine. Think it's something you haven't got like uh, digital radio, then you don't need to worry about it. I'm just going to go over to Fault Trace. And what we really want is the Delivery tab. The different tabs have different features. Delivery is the quickest way to get to your actual fault codes. On P3 platform cars, you have to quite, wait quite a while for delivery to be able to come live. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and hit on Delivery. Here's my current fault codes. My heating element on my collision system is not working. One of my license plate lights is out. Well, that's actually been replaced by a reversing camera, so it's not there. And uh, I don't have a catalytic converter, so well, fair enough there. However, what we can do now is really go deeper into these. We can go to unselected CSC, which is customer supplied complaint, I think is the phrase. And then when we find Fault. You have to find the fault through the, the description of the fault, I suppose, like license plate not working. Um, and if you double click on it, you get what we call the fault trace. Now, a lot of people don't even know that fault trace exists, it's really fantastic. It gives you loads of information on P3 and newer cars, on maybe P1 as well. And um, you get the timeline so you can actually see exactly when the fault um, last happened. It's really fabulous. And details how many times it's happened since uh, the fault counters were reset, when it happened, what mileage, all kinds of, kinds of interesting freeze frame data. And the freeze frame data you get changes depending on what type of module you're, uh, you're looking at. You can then go to the second step, stage of fault trace, where it actually tells you what sort of things to do to try and fix your issue. What we do? So, this is saying check the heating coil for a short circuit. Well, probably it's one that's unplugged, I don't know. We've never got around to look into it. And uh, here we go. Click the VCT symbol to uh, activate and deactivate the heating coil. Let's see if it works or not. Well, I'm not going to get out and check it, so hide that. And I say, is it. Do uh, you want to exit full tracing? Because I do from this instance. Other good stuff with Vida, uh, vehicle communication, this is where you get your live data from the car. So I'm just going to go up to the ECU and bring up some information about interesting things that it might be doing. Really interesting things, especially on diesels, um, is the boost pressure, intake air pressure on the, on the petrol, uh, compared to the uh, ambient air pressure. Bad example on a petrol, unfortunately. But on diesels, in fact, with the engine off, 
they should be within 200 HPA of each other. So often lots of, lots of boost faults these days are from the team up on the intercooler uh, team up sensor on the intercooler failing and you find that your intake air pressure sensor is way different to the ambient air pressure as the sensor needs replacing so that's it really um, so just a basic uh, basic rundown of, uh, of what you can do with uh, with Vita initial state is the fault codes that were there when you first scanned the vehicle it can be confusing you can update it during your work or after a session so it's always important to pay attention to the date and time on initial state sometimes you get people um, posting uh, pictures of their initial state and it's you can see from the dates a fortnight ago and you're like well I can't really trust those fault codes now can you you haven't updated uh, in quite a while just show me the delivery tab Long press on the ignition. I'm going to go ahead and erase all.